Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Burchard Galleries, Antiques, and Fine Arts Auctioneers in St. Petersburg, Florida. We're going to give you a brief preview of our upcoming October 16th auction. It's going to begin at 12 noon, 12 noon right here in St. Petersburg, 2528 30th Avenue North. 12 noon, you'll find us on the internet at burchardgalleries.com. Here's a quick preview of the room before the sale. Right here to my left is a really great Helen Sawyer Still Life of Flowers oil on canvas. That's going to be sold at lot 1313. And as we walk through the room, we'll see a Coslo painting that's going to be lot 1276. It's a huge painting in the sale. The Kanabi Grand Piano, or Baby Grand Piano, is in the sale, plus a Room full of previews of upcoming things for our November 12th and 13th auction as well. As we walk into the gallery, let me talk a little bit about the sale. We will be selling at absolute auction, meaning no minimums, no reserves, the estate of Yves Georges Prade. Now, he was the vice president of the Municipal Council of Paris and the general council of the scene, and the entire collection will be on the auction block at no reserve. No reserve, no minimums, no reserves on the Prod collection, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Georges Prod was a major force in the Parisian art world. He was an editor and art critic of the Blue Review, and along with Pablo Picasso, was a wartime activist for imprisoned artist Max Jacob and others. Prod also served as the secretary of the management of the Bank of Paris and the Netherlands, and was director at Mun Champagne. Now, many of the artworks in this collection bear personal inscriptions from the artist to Prod. As we go in the gallery, folks, be prepared to be amazed. And we thank you once again for joining us on this video exhibition preview for our auction beginning October 16th. October 16th, right here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Let's go into the gallery. Let's take a tour as we go through. We'll be seeing many treasures. Here's a whole case full of things coming up on our November 12th and 13th auction. We are taking, accepting consignments for that sale on the uh, 13th and 12th of November. Fine jewelry, miniature paintings. Just to give you an example, to the upper right in the case is a painting of Mauricio Trillo by Roger Toulouse. Now, this was given to Georges Prade by Utrillo's widow and dedicated to Georges on the back, just to give you a small idea of the intimacy from which many of these artworks were acquired from the artist themselves. Here's one of the stars of the show. You'll see a oil on canvas, an oil on canvas, ladies and gentlemen, and it is by Pierre de Belay, Pierre de Belay, and it's going to be lot number 1022 in the auction. 1022 in the auction, which means it's going to be this 22nd item that we will be selling in the auction beginning at 12 noon on October 16th. We have another work by Belay as well. It's lot 1022A, and it is a uh, pencil drawn portrait of Guillaume Alapanere. As we go through the gallery, we'll see more artwork, uh, some Tarkays in the auction. We do have the, the estate. We have nine works, nine exhibited artworks from the estate of Frederick Whitehead, a British artist, and one of which is lot 1095. You'll see that one, 1095. And it's Cows in a Landscape. I can tell you all about that picture as we uh, take a look at it. 1095, Cattle Grazing on the Moorland. Now, this was an exhibited uh, piece at the Spiva Art Center in 1982, as were the other eight works by Whitehead in the auction. Again, at Burchard Galleries, 2528 30th Avenue North in St. Petersburg, Florida. Now, here's the treat as we walk into the main room, the place of the auction action beginning at 12 noon on October 16th. Burchard Galleries. Here's a quick pan of the gallery. Tomorrow evening, tomorrow evening at this time, there will be nothing left. 90% of what we sell here at Burchard Galleries is sold absolutely without minimum or reserve, meaning 10% here with fair and reasonable um, uh, values. Panning across the back of the room, there's another star of the show, another Frederick Whitehead. Another Frederick Whitehead, and that is lot number 1093. This is entitled Stream in an Oak Wood. 
Oil on Canvas, he exhibited at the Royal Academy and in several leading London galleries as well as the Spiva Art Center. Here's the star of the show, the Frederick Whitehead. Now, up there on the wall to our right, we are selling, and we mentioned that we are selling the estate, items from the estate of John S. Burke. Now, John S. Burke was the president of the B. Altman, B. Altman chain of department stores. This, uh, he was known for in the early days, turn of the century, late 1800s, early 1900s, to deliver his goods by wagon, and this is his stable of horses. His stable of horses, and I can tell you it's lot number 1147, 1147 in the auction. And I can tell you the names of the horses. It's amazing that we have all this information because we have found... We have found the horses in the book written by B. Altman in the 60s. And this picture was uh, painted by Dan Smith. The B. Altman Company, John S. Burke. We have the family portraits as well of John and his wife. Excellent Victorian chairs, ladies and gentlemen. Lot number 1126. Lot number 1126 in the sale. I can tell you about these. These are kind of nice. These are, a pair, these are a pair of French Paray et Weber dragon chairs. And uh, they are by the famed uh, firm, the Maison de Bambo, Paray and Weber in Paris. Two chairs, one money. Lot number 1126. Um, as well, an interesting Buddha. I'm not quite sure of the lot number of that. Let me... Let me take a look here. I want to let you not miss the sale. <coughs> the, the sale of this piece, I should say. This is a Sino-Tibetan seated Buddha. And it is lot number 1400. 1400. There's been a lot of interest in this online. As we pan through the gallery, folks, we have treasure-bound French parlor suites, oriental rugs of the highest quality, stacks of oriental rugs from the estates, Along with modern, here's a nice English bonnet top sideboard. That's lot 1183, lot 1183. Double bonnet top with beveled glass in the center. I haven't seen anything quite like that for a long time. Lap desk, reverse slag glass lamps, carved Victorian furniture abound. Modern furniture, here's a great dining set. And it's all here to be sold at Burchard Galleries, 2528 and 2522 30th Avenue North. The auction starts at 12 noon. You can find us online at Burchard Galleries, burchardgalleries.com. Click the link that says view the auction catalogs and you can see all 509 items in the sale. Lot 1409, a most interesting buffalo herd, oil on canvas by Charles Damro. One of four or five works by this artist in the sale here at No Reserve, of course, as usual. And uh, uninteresting, I can't quite see that lot number. Let me get a little closer for you. All right, let's see. <laughs> Walking and talking, and you can tell we haven't rehearsed this. You are getting raw video. Lot 1457 is a Jacques Duloc reclining elegant female pastel and char charcoal from the estate of Georges Prade. Yves Georges Prade. We have probably 150 to 175 artworks from the estate of Georges Prade. Again, no minimums, no reserves on items from that collection. Bronze elephants. We have fancy carved parlor sets. Bronzes, marble sculptures, an Argy Rousseau, a Pat Devere lamp, and on as we pan the room. Here's that stack of Oriental rugs I was telling you about. Luxurious, pliant, supple, lustrous estate Oriental carpets in the auction on October 16th at Burchard Galleries. Here's an interesting piece for you all to see, lot 1143. Talk about a wonderful piece of furniture, a showstopper for sure. This is after Antoine Gaudreau. This is a Louis XV style mounted, metal mounted commode 
with marble top. That's lot 1143. And here's a very interesting late estate find. Let's let you see if you can guess who the artist might be on this one. I can give you a hint. It is from the estate of Georges Prade. And I can tell you it does have a archival label on the back that said it is from the collection of Jean Ferve, who was the niece of Edgar Degas. And it bears a striking resemblance to a number of known Degas pencil drawings and charcoal. So there we go, from the Georges Prade estate. Again, many of the works in this auction from the Georges Prade estate have dedications and commemorations from the artist to Georges Prade. Georges Prade, again, was the vice president of the Council of the Scene, president of the Bank of Paris, etc., etc., the, the art critic for the Blue Review, and an, art, an activist for the artist in prison during the war, working with Pablo Picasso to get Max Jacob out of prison. Max Jacob, unfortunately, died of pneumonia in the prison. Lest I forget of one more star of the show from the Georges Prade estate. Very early in the sale, lot number 15. Lot number 15 in the auction is an Akil Emile Othan Fries. Adam and Eve oil on canvas, 1910. Now Fries was a lifelong was lifelong friends with Raoul Dufay, and he studied at the Lahar School of Fine Arts with Dufay. And they became friends where, uh, also at the school, Fries met Matisse, Marquet, Rouault, and this is from the estate of Georges Prade. Many, many fine works of art found in a storage facility here in Florida, unearthed, coming to the auction block without minimum and without reserve. Art abound, folks. I'm so happy that you got to see this video. I hope that you're viewing this video before the auction itself takes place. If you'd like to get on our mailing list, send us a note to mail, M-A-I-L, at BurchardGalleries.com. That's B-U-R-C-H-A-R-D-G-A-L-L-E-R-I-E-S.com. Just spell the name Burchard, B-U-R-C-H-A-R-D, and you'll be right in tune with what's happening in the auction world here in Florida. Look at this. Elvis Presley's in the house, and here it is, the Grand Old Opry, WS, WSM, the official program, and there is Elvis's autograph right there. Lots of Elvis memorabilia selling at lot number 1299. 1299. Elvis is in the house for your bidding pleasure. All right. Sterling silver cut glass. German automaton Sevs vases. Lot number one in the sale is a great chinoiserie decorated Atmos clock. Kind of a rare bird they tell me. And in the showcase, this sculpture at lot number 1100, lot number 1100, this is a Harry Bertoya, and they call it a spill form sculpture. Now, this was given by Bertoya to Carlos Ferrer, who was an architect working for Knoll, and was consigned by a relative of Ferrer, and along came the provenance. Very interesting. That's lot number 1100. Jewelry abound, folks. Diamonds and gold and heavy chains and necklaces sprinkled throughout the sale, much being offered without reserve. If you'd like to be a consigner here at the galleries, just give us a call. Our number in St. Petersburg, Florida is 727-821-1167. 727-821-1167. We offer monthly, two-day-long, weekend-long auctions here at Burchard Galleries. Again, find us online, burchardgalleries.com. See us on Facebook at Burchard Galleries. Watch us on Twitter at Burchard Auction, LinkedIn, Pinterest, however you'd like to contact us. Yours truly, Jeffrey Burchard. Thank you for watching our exhibition video. Please come get your share 
the Antiques and Fine Arts auction to begin at 12 noon, October 16th, 2522 and 2528, 30th Avenue North in St. Petersburg, Florida. Let me get a quick zoom in on the back wall because I forgot one of the most prolific and important artists in the sale. You can see on the back wall, you can see the lot of peas, L-A-T-A-P-I-E. We have a number of works by lot of P, some dedicated to Prod. There's a nice picture by Roger Toulouse, dedicated to Prod. Many works on the auction block. Good luck at the sale tomorrow. Thanks for watching and give us a call, 727-821-1167.